So yeah. what is the difference between LAT and WAR? Uh, so WAR it is a global scope whereas LAT it is a block scope. Uh, then hosting it is allowed with WAR whereas Hosting is not allowed for the LED. Uh, then we can redeclaration is not allowed in LED. Whereas re, we can do redeclaration for WAR. So these are the uh, common differences which I think of. Okay. <coughs> so what is the difference between a double equal to and triple equal to? So uh, double equal to operator it is used to check the value but triple equal to it is used to check the value as well as the data type so that is the main difference between double equal to and triple equal to okay so how many types of looping statement available in javascript so types of loops uh, it includes for for in uh, for of then uh, while do while so yeah uh, these are the few loops in JavaScript. Okay. So, what is the difference between map and forage? So, the difference between map and forage, uh, the return value for the uh, like map method, it returns a new array from the like it will transform the elements with a new array. But uh, in forage, it will return undefined. So, that is the main difference between map and forage. Okay. So, what is the difference between a for in loop and for out loop? So, the main difference between for in and for of is for in it is used to loop over the objects, whereas for of loop it is used to loop over the arrays or strings. So, that is the main difference. So, can you explain the spread operator and rest operator? So, rest parameter it is used to pass an indefinite number of arguments for example like uh, suppose uh, there are a large number of arguments uh, so we will write the first argument and we will write triple dot b so that all the arguments will get collected whereas spread operator uh, what we do is like if we want to combine uh, like uh, suppose there are two arrays a and b uh, in first a array there are two elements 1 and 2 and in the second array 3 and 4 and uh, in C array what we do we will do, uh, do triple dot a uh, comma triple dot b so all the elements will be collected in C so in C array it will be uh, all the elements 1 2 3 4 so this is the example of spread operator okay so what is use of a pattern function and what is the difference between a normal function and pattern function uh, so uh, the arrow functions uh, like it doesn't use a uh, function and return keyword whereas the normal function uses and the main is uh, it is not constructible the arrow functions and as it doesn't use new keyword whereas normal functions can be uh, con they are constructible so this is uh, so yeah these are the two main differences of uh, fat arrow and normal functions Okay. Mm. And what is the closure function in JavaScript? So closure is a function in a function. So it can have access uh, to the outer functions variable. So uh, in short, what we can say it is a, it is a function that can have access to the outer functions variable. So th yeah, that is a closure function. Okay. Uh, so okay. So what is hosting in JavaScript? So JavaScript hosting, what uh, what happens is before the code execution, it will move all the declaration, all the declaration at top of the scope. So that is hosting in JS. Okay. So, what is the call stack? So call stack, uh, so it is used for tracking the uh, function calls. With the help of call stack, we can do so. The function call it is stored in uh, last in first out manner. So yeah, so in short, what we can say it is used for tracking the 
of function calls okay okay so let me start some uh, rehs question yeah so what is the uncontrolled component so uncontrolled components uh and so these are the components they manage internally their own state so they are known as uncontrolled component it has limited control over the form data okay so what is a higher order component and what is the benefits of a higher order component so hoc it uh, takes a component as an argument and returns a new component so like for example like toggling of or for highlighting or unhighlighting the text we use hoc and benefits like it is one of the advanced technique of uh, for reusability purpose it provides flexible flexibility to the developers okay so are you comfortable with the class component or functional component functional component Okay, so what is the difference between class component and function component? So, a uh, class component, what it does is it exchanges from React dot component and creates a render function that re returns a React element. Whereas functional component, it is kind of a pure like it is kind of a JS function. It accepts the prop as an argument and returns a, a JSX element. So, uh. the other difference is like uh, the functional components they use uh, like if they want to use states and life cycle method these features they can use with the help of hooks so whereas in class component they have built in states like this dot state so they uh, so these are the common differences uh, which i can think of <laughs> so what is the life cycle of uh... Life cycle uh, phases you are asking. Hmm. So phases uh, there are a uh, mounting phase, updating phase, and unmounting phase. So in mounting phase we use like component did mount, updating will a uh, component did update, and com uh, component will unmount for unmounting phase. These are the class. Uh, These we write in class based components. Whereas in functional components we use use effect. Okay, so how to call unmount method in a or function component? We write a return method, and uh, yeah, we write return method in the use effect. Okay. So how to improve our React uh, application speed? Uh, so uh, how we can improve is like uh, by using use callback and use memos, like memoizing. uh react components to prevent like so there are unnecessary rendering so to avoid that we can memoize react components and we can use lazy loading so these are the few things so that we can improve the react application speed okay okay so what is the difference between the use memo and use callback uh the main difference between use callback and use memo is the return value so what it will so what use memo will return is the use uh, like memoized value whereas use callback it will return memoized function so that is the main difference between use callback and use memo okay okay so what is use of a react.memo so uh, react.memo what it does is like like it will skip the uh, rendering to reuse the last re rendered output so what it does it will avoid the unnecessary rendering which improves the performance as well okay so what is use of pure components so what react uh, pure components will do uh, so suppose the state has been updated with the same value so at that time it won't rerender so it is similar to use memo of functional components so uh, mainly it is used to avoid rerendering when it has been updated to the same value so can you extend the state and props of react state it is used to manage data within the component whereas prop it is used to pass data from parent component to child component uh, also uh, therefore props are immutable and cannot be changed whereas state is mutable okay so 
So can I able to send the function using the props? Uh, yes, we can. We can send the uh, function through props. Okay. <clears throat> so are you talking about uh, we maintaining the props using uh, parent to child? Okay. So how to manage the global state management in your application? Uh, we can do with the help of Redux. Okay. Okay, so can you explain the life cycle of Redux? How it work? Life cycle of Redux. Yeah, so Redux it uh, it has three components which include uh, action, reducer, and uh, store. So the reducer it is a pure function. It will take the action and it will return the updated state. Whereas action will tell what action needs to be performed. And store it is used to store all the data within the application. Okay. So how to call API? In uh, we can do with the help of fetch or, or we can do with the help of uh, axios. Okay. So what is the iterator? What is? Iterator. So iteration, it means when we want to execute a code for each element for a list. So it the list can be an array as well. So uh, when we want to execute the code once for each element in the list, that is an iteration. Okay. So how to manage authentication and authorization? Uh, like uh, with the help of Auth0 or uh, JWT, we can do authentication. Okay. So what is the event doubling? So in event bubbling, what it happens, uh, the event gets triggered on the innermost target element first and then successfully uh, to its parent and then its ancestor to the tilt to the root element. So this is how event bubbling works. Okay. So what is use of e dot event default? So event uh, like prevent default, what this method helps, it helps into uh, like stop or uh, restrict the default action of an element so that is the function of the uh, prevent default method okay so what is use of a use dot, uh, real dot, uh, use ref? so use ref fork is used to store the uh, mutable value which does not it won't cause the re-render when updated so it allows us to persist the value between rendering uh, do you know about the HTTP status code so HTTP status code it is nothing but a message so that uh, so what it does is it will indicate whether that request can be fulfilled or not so this message is sent by server to the browser yes. okay so which type of HTTP status code you can use in our application uh, so there are uh, 400 bad requests, uh, 401 for unauthorized process, unauthorized, 404 not found, 403 forbidden, 403 forbidden, 402, uh, 502 uh, bad gateway, 200 for uh, the request successful, so for that 200. So these are the few uh, HTTP status codes in the application. Okay. So, which library you can use for the React uh, designing purpose? Uh, we can use like for the designing purpose, material UI you can use or bootstrap you can use. Okay. For example, I have, I have a registration page, okay? Register page. So, registration page I have to validate some fields like a name, email, mobile number. So, it's a required field and email field. So how can we manage it? Validation field we can do with the help of uh, you. Okay. So what is the difference between uh, display none and visible folds? In display none and visibility hidden, uh, in both the cases the uh, content will be hidden. But uh, the memory size it will be taken in display none. But for visibility hidden, uh, sorry, for visibility hidden, it will take the space, but not for display. Okay.
ओके तो कैश रन फॉर्म मैच है